Hi, this is James KN4NEH. And I'm Jim N4BFR. So you just got your ham radio license and you're ready to make that first contact. Forget all the information overload. We're gonna show you how easy it is to make your first contact using Simplex on a handheld like one of these. Coming up. This is Ham Radio. One of the most basic things in ham radio is just talking directly radio to radio, one ham to another. It's called simplex, and you can remember this because it's a simple way to make a contact. Think of it like walkie talkies, but since we're using ham radio, we're able to use a lot more power and frequencies that aren't available to those that don't have a license. After you watch this video, you'll be able to confidently make a simplex contact with your radio. Whether you want to do it in the park like we are, if you want to go off-roading, or if you want to do it in an emergency communication situation. We're going to use the terms handheld and HT interchangeably. What we're basically talking about is a radio you can carry with you while you're out doing things. Now, there's lots of great options for handheld radios out there from brands like Yezu, Icom, Kenwood, and Baofeng. In general, these radios have about five watts of power, which means they're good for more or less five miles of range. I've decided to use a Baofeng for today because it's pretty affordable and for me, it's easy to program. I'm using a Kenwood. I like it because it has an OLED screen and a few advanced features. But the important thing to remember is any of these kind of radios can do this basic simplex contact. Now, a lot of ham radio operators, when they buy one of these, will go ahead and do a basic upgrade, which is buy an aftermarket antenna. Now, the reason for that is because the antennas that come with these radios, the rubber duck antennas, are not so great. So by upgrading your antenna, you can get some additional range at a pretty affordable cost as well. You can pick one of these up at a ham store for about 50 bucks. Before we go any further, let's make sure we're straight on license requirements. We're using ham radio handhelds on licensed ham radio frequencies. But the good news is you only need the most basic technician level to get started here. Now, this is extremely important because operating on ham radio frequencies without a license can lead to serious fines or even imprisonment. There are other radio services like FRS or CB that you can use without a license. We decided to use ham radio today because by getting our license, we've got more power available, more frequencies that's gonna give us some more range and also some more room for experimentation. These radios we've chosen are set up to operate on the two meter and 70 centimeter bands. So that's what we're gonna be picking today. Why don't we go ahead and make our first contact on the very popular two meter band, which is one of the most popular bands in all of ham radio. And it's great for making a direct line of sight communication on simplex. So the two meter band, although it's a single band, actually is made up of a frequency range from 144 to 148 megahertz. And all ham radio operators share this range. So what we use is something called a band plan to break up that frequency range into smaller frequency chunks that are allocated for different modes of operation. So what we're gonna do is just search for Georgia band plan and we'll pull up the frequencies that are available for our area. And looking at that printout, we can see all different frequencies. And what we're gonna be looking for specifically is FM simplex voice. We're gonna to wanna to avoid anything that says D star, DMR, digital packet. Those aren't what we need for today. And we find a few frequencies in that range that we could potentially use. Now, the reason we wanna make sure we're sticking to FM simplex is because there's a lot of different things happening in two meter FM. And you don't wanna just pick a frequency at random and end up on top of somebody's earth moon earth contact or in the middle of a repeater contact. So we're gonna to stick to the FM simplex area, which in Georgia is 146 to 147 megahertz. All right, so all we need to do is find a frequency and looking at our band plan, we find 146.430 megahertz as an FM simplex voice frequency that we can use. And so the idea here is we're gonna write that frequency down and then we're gonna program both of our radios to talk on that same frequency. There was one frequency in that band that we could have chosen but decided to avoid. That's called the national calling frequency. It's 146.52 megahertz and it's used for hams to find each other while they're traveling around. We wanna have a separate area to work in today so we chose a frequency off of that frequency. All right, so with that, we've got our frequency selected 146.430 and we're ready to program our radios. So let's make sure your radio is good to go. You got the battery charged up, it's powered on, you got the antenna screwed on tight so you're making good contact. We're ready to enter the frequency. Now on most radios, you're gonna find a button labeled V slash M. 
The M stands for memories, how you'd program in for a repeater. The V is for variable frequency oscillator mode. That's where we're gonna directly enter our frequency. So with my radio and VFO mode, it literally could not be easier. All I have to do is enter in that six digit code. So one, four, six, four, three, zero. And just like that, I've programmed my frequency into the radio. The Baofeng makes it really easy. It's not that much harder on the Kenwood. All you need to do once you're in VFO mode is press the enter button and then one, four, six, four, three, zero. The radio knows where to put the decimal point so you don't have to worry about that part. All right, awesome. And if you've done this correctly, you should see that both radios have the same frequency listed on the front. This is simplex, so remember, we're just transmitting, receiving on the same frequency. The radios are speaking the same language so they can talk to each other easier. And these totally look good to go, so I think we should make a contact. I think we're ready to make a contact. Let's do it. Now with our radios programmed to the right frequency, there's just one more thing we wanna do before we make that contact, which is we're just gonna wait on this frequency and listen and make sure that another ham radio operator isn't using the frequency. We've gone ahead and separated by a mile or two, and now we're ready to finally press that push to talk button and see if we can make a contact. This is Kilo November 4, November Echo Hotel. Jim, can you hear me? KN4NEH, this is Jim, N4BFR. I hear you loud and clear. Jim, you are coming through great over here, buddy. And I've got to say, it is a beautiful day here at Stone Mountain, Georgia to be operating on some ham radios. How's it going? It's going wonderful. I'm trying to spot some things that you and I may want to gather up and see later. Great way to coordinate that is with using our ham radios. And I have to say, it was incredibly easy to program these. We can coordinate amongst ourselves. We can talk around the mountain and it's great practice for an emergency situation or if we just wanna go off the beaten path and not use our cell phones. And I want everybody to notice too, we're not giving our call sign out after every time we go back and forth. When you're having a conversation like this, you do need to give it out, but only every 10 minutes. All right, well, thanks for making the contact, Jim. And uh, you can come on back to base camp. This is KN4NEH. All right, I'll hike back over to you. This is November 4, Bravo, Foxtrot, Romeo. Congratulations, if you followed our instructions, you've probably just made your first simplex contact. If you didn't, no need to worry, we have lots of troubleshooting information for you too. Yep, just head on over to www.americanradioclub.com and if you had some trouble, head on over to the community forums and one of our Elmers will help you out to get your radio programmed. We've also got lots of other helpful guides and information like this one and we've even got full courses to help you get your ham radio license. So thanks for watching and 73 for now. We hope to hear you on the air soon. 73. You know, Jim, this has been really fun making simplex contacts, but you know what would be even better? I'm having a blast. What would be better, though? What if we added a third person to our simplex group? Let's do it. What's going on, guys? You're over hey, me? Hey, Jack, what's happening? Jack, what are you doing here? I'm here to join your simplex group. I thought you were in the studio. I just was a second ago. I don't know how I got here. What frequency are you guys on? We're on 146.430. All right, let's get this simplex group going. Hey, Simplex Group, this is James, Kilo November 4, November Echo Hotel. Are you able to hear me okay? KN4NEH, this is N4BFR. I hear you loud and clear. You know what? I bumped into Jack a few minutes ago. Let me see if we can find him. Hey, Jim, I hear you loud and clear. This is Jack, KF0DHD. Signal coming through strong. Um, I, I made it up a little bit past where you were on the trail. James, where are you located at? I am still over here at the base of the mountain, and I have to say, Jack, it is great to hear that you're out of the studio. I know you've been busy with the new videos. Jack, I see you're uh, over near the top of the mountain. Are you gonna try and do any summits on the air while you're there? I might try to do a couple summits on the air, see if I can connect to a couple repeaters, see how far I can get my signal out there. It is so easy to get in on this. Remember guys, we're doing a three-person simplex group just as easy as making a two-person simplex group. Ensure everyone's on the same frequency, make sure you're in the right band, and you're good to go. Sounds easy enough. This is James Kilo, November 4, November Echo Hotel, say in 73. This is Jim N4BFR. I'm done train spotting and headed on back. This is Jack, KF0DHD. I'm gonna head back down the trail towards base camp. Great contact with you guys, 73. This is Ham Radio.